Page Navigation in Page Object Model for Coder UI Testing So, in this video, we'll be talking about page navigation in much detailed way as we did in our previous sections for Windows application for Coder UI Testing. So, for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. Here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do exactly the same concept that we did in our previous section of Windows application for page navigation. As you could see in our previous code, right here, we did something like this. We performed a click go home method and also click employee pf method which we wrote something like this to perform a click operation on these controls and then it returns as the employee pf page so it's exactly the same thing we're going to do this time as well all we're going to do is something like this once we click the login link from the home page it is going to return as the web login page and there we're going to call a method called login which is going to perform the login operation and then once the login is done it should also return back as the home page where you can perform the employee list link click i'm not going to do a detailed explanation this time because we have already discussed about it in our previous video so let's quickly start working from that so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the home page and then i'm going to write a method something like this public web login page click login and then it's going to click the login link dot click and this click method will not be appearing because we don't have the namespace yet so i'm just going to add that employee dot extensions and here we can do the click right now and then it's going to return as the web login page cool and now if i go back so here once we do a click operation or once we call this method dot click login it's going to return as the web login page so we can do something like this web login page login page is equal to this right so this line is not required anymore and then within this web login page i'm going to create one more method which is going to be just login so public it's going to return as so once you perform a login it's going to return you the home page so web home page login and it's going to accept two parameters one is the username and another one is the password so i'm just going to get that as well txt username dot enter text will not be there let's add the namespace enter text of username and password dot enter text of the password and then we need to click it so btn login dot click once the click operation is done then we need to return the home page so there we go cool so the page is returned and once it is done I can just replace all these codes into a much easier code something like login page dot login of admin and password and that's going to turn you the home page home page is equal to this and then we're going to perform a click operation on the link of the employee list right that's it so now you can see it's only five lines of code to perform the complete page navigation concept as well so home page and then the login page login operation is going to happen and then clicking the employee list i'm going to save it and let's quickly run this test and see how it works Cool. So this ends our page navigation concept with Coder UI testing for web applications. So in the next video, we'll be discussing how to work with cross-browser testing and perform the same operation with a Chrome browser.